What's good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidIt.com and in today's video I'm going to be taking some of the loops that you guys sent me and I'm going to be making beats with them. If you have me on any social media a few days ago I posted to send loops to a certain email and I'm going to choose random loops to make a video where I'm making beats with. I'm going to be doing this series on my channel so follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter and pay attention to my YouTube posts and story and on all of those, I announce when I'm going to basically say like, hey, send me melodies again, send me the tempo of the melody, you know, blah, 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 to this email. And then I'm going to make a video where I use your guys's melodies and loops to create beats for you guys to watch. So it's kind of like a cool online collab way and just an interesting thing that we could watch. So in today's video, I chose two random loops and melodies from the emails that you guys sent in. Make sure to watch and support all the producers in this because you might be in one. So if you leave this one, you know, I didn't make it they're going to leave yours as well. So I'm just going to put the camera on the side of me. I'm going to cook up some beats using these loops, and it'll be a kind of cool video for you guys to watch. All right, so the first loop I pulled is by Ram Beats. He sent me this crazy piano. Right when I heard it, I knew what type of beat I wanted to make with it. So I'm going to let you guys hear that, and then we're going to continue to make the rest of the beat. So the first thing we're going to do is EQ out a little bit of the low end and then the next thing we're going to do is stick a reverb on it. We're going to turn up the decay, turn up the size, cut out some of the low end, some of the high, and then stereo separate it. So before, after. Now we got a wide piano. Next thing I'm going to do is go in here and get Harmer and I'm just gonna get that stab bass either one or two and then we're just gonna go in here we'll call this bass Let's go ahead and put this in. It's gonna go like this. And then we're gonna have a longer and then down here. So we're just gonna take these and go like this. just get a random clap going so let's go in here to some of these kits and we're gonna go to the twisted kit and we'll grab clap five and we're just gonna put it on the three going to add these in where they sound good. open hi-hat and we're going to go over here do this so we have control over it I keep looking over at the camera over there because um, my batteries keep dying so I gotta make sure that the camera doesn't turn off <laughs> alright let's go into some more kits and get 
different types of perks because a lot of these type of beats are literally just like an insane amount of like percussion. You can see we're adding a lot. We're just going to keep going. Let's see. Let's go to the Lean Cuisine kit. Turn this to sell. And then what we need to do is turn this piano off and just go maybe a different kick. And then we'll just put like a slide base in here. Um, I don't know why I just called it a slide base. That is not what I meant to say. Uh, a sign base. And then let's solo this. And then Alt L. Make them all the same size. And then to get these to play correctly, we're going to go over here, link the stab bass in here, and cut out a lot of this low end because we just want it for like the stab pluck sound. Probably even take out more than that. There we go. Personally, I would leave this beat like this. I might add one or two more leads, but really I would leave this open for the artist to just get on it. So that was Ran Beat who sent me that. Fire piano. I'm gonna do one more. All right, so the next sample I grabbed from the ones you guys sent is by Soul. I believe that's how you say his name. He sent me a trap melody, so I'm gonna let you guys hear that real quick. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is pitch it down by two semitones. So we're going to go over here, 200 cents. And then I'm going to add an EQ to it, as it already is set. Let's free up some space. So I like this as it sounds. Let's just go put some drums in it, and then maybe we'll add like a lead over top so we're gonna go into here and we're just gonna add a hi-hat on top of it and then we'll come back to that but we just need like a start on a rhythm Clap on the three. And 
let's layer that with the lower snare bring it down a tiny bit <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that part. All right, now let's see what could we get next. Let's see if we get a vocal before we go into the 808s. All right, that sounds cool to me. And then let's take some high end or some low end out of it. Sorry, not high end. All right, guys, unfortunately, my camera keeps dying. No matter how much I charge the batteries right now, um, I could charge it for 30 minutes. It dies in two minutes. So I came unprepared with uncharged batteries. We're going to have to finish this without, you know, the video showing me. So I'm just going to continue making this beat. And then at the end, once my battery charges, I'll come back. So let's keep going. So he already made a really good melody to the point where I don't want to add too much to it. So I'm going to just go in here, get my favorite 808 from my twisted kit that I use all the time. And then we're just going to put some 808s in this. So let me just find how we want to do this. bring these up so we can make sure that they sound good shift D and then alt Q and that probably messed up a lot of this all right that sounds good to me let's drop it back down like this we're gonna add a little bit distortion to it so the fast distorter turn down the threshold I wouldn't add anything to this personally. I like how this sounds. I think it sounds good. Let me just see if like one noise from Omnisphere can like make this sound good. Maybe like a, I don't know, a pad, like a vocal pad or something. All right, so let's record that and then we'll change the sound of it because that sounds pretty cool. So let's keep that. All right, so we're going to go with the glorious guitars, but we're going to turn the pluck off. So here's how it sounds with the pluck. We're going to take that pluck off so it sounds like this. And we're going to go over here and make this sustain a little bit lower. Right, so those were the two loops i chose for today's video if you guys did like this video leave a thumbs up drop a comment down below what you thought of the loops that they sent me and pay attention for when i announce that i'm doing this again i'm going to make this series so it will be constant so follow me on all social medias to check that out like i said give it a like if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below you guys can follow me on all social medias at lifestyle did it hit my website lifestyle did it.com for everything else as always subscribe to your boy push notifications. Thanks.